go. Wait, we're doing this. Come over here. I need to introduce. Here. You're on now. Okay. Go ahead. My buddy, my buddy Donnie Leg, and uh, he saw the video I did last time I preached at the beer garden in Venice Beach, and we're fresh off of the Ambassadors Academy, and we have four of us together. Amen. I thought we'd come to Venice Beach, do a little evangelizing and going to the now almost world famous Edinger Beer Garden. So I said, Donnie, I'd like you to get up there and preach the gospel. We're going to do a tag team. So I asked him what he wanted to do and he said he'd like to do the bad news. Sometimes people don't like that bad news and if you saw that last video they sprayed me when I got to the Eighth Commandment. But sometimes they'll get you when they hear Jesus. What do you think will happen at home? Mm. We're going to hand out tracks inside and let's see what happens. Yes, let's do it. Hey, my friend. Let me ask you a question. I'll give you a couple dollars. We're gonna we're gonna speak to this crowd for a few minutes. If you can, if you can hold off, I'll give you five dollars if you let me. Would you? Would you do that? We just want to speak to them just for a little bit. No, no, no. Well, I know, but no, no, no. Hey, hey. Okay, if you don't hey, want it, that's fine. Hey, hey. I know Chief. I, I, I like music. I do. I really like music. Well, we're not here every day, ma'am. I'm in Florida. Hey, that's good. That's good. We care for you, though. That's true. We really care for them. We care for them. We're just going to talk to them about the Lord, and then we'll be on our way. It won't be but five minutes. What's your name? My name is Donnie. Donnie. I'm from Florida. That's why I like good music. You don't, you don't, you don't want to die. I'm going to tell you. Yeah. I like Chris. Too. Well, praise God. Then you'll understand what we're going to do. You know what? Yeah. So. You'll give me a second. Talk to him. You guys are always here, and like you just Ma'am, this is the first time I've ever been here. Honestly. Six weeks ago. All right. I'm just. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention just for a moment? I'm here because I care for you. And uh, there's some people went around handed a gospel track there on the front. You see the trillion dollar bill. And I'm not going to be long, but I care for you. And I see you sitting here. And uh, I want to herald something that's the most important thing to you. If you look on the back, there's a, there's a trillion dollar question on the back. And it's where you're going to spend eternity. And the truth of the matter is, 10 out of 10 people die. We should not fear death because we're all going to die. We don't need to fear death. But what we should consider is judgment. As appointed unto a man once to die, after this the judgment. Now what God says is God is the judge. He has a standard to judge by. His standard is the Ten Commandments. The New, T the New Testament says that the law of God is holy, righteous, and good. Holy, just, and good. And that is the character of God. So when you stand before God on Judgment Day, He's going to maybe look at the Ninth Commandment and say, how many lies do you think you've told? Well, He's going to see you as a liar because we've all lied. It's so serious of an offense to break the law of God that God says, that all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. That's serious. We don't become car The Eighth Commandment says, Thou should not steal. Don't put a dollar sign to it. If you've ever stolen anything, God says no thief will inherit the kingdom of God. Now listen, we're not poor thieves because we don't want to go to prison. But yet we'll break the law of God, not considering what God's sentence will be on breaking His law. Listen, how about this? Thou shalt not use the Lord thy God's name in vain, even to say, Oh my, and use His name. His name is holy, and yet we use it as a curse word. That's called blasphemy. He says, No blasphemer will inherit the kingdom of God. How about this? There's another commandment there that gets everyone. He says, If we look at someone with lust, Jesus said we commit adultery with them 
in our heart and no adulterer will inherit the kingdom of God. That's bad news on judgment day. And then on judgment day, he looks at us and he'll find us guilty. And the sentence that he must place is hell. But that's not any desire that God doesn't desire to go to hell. He doesn't desire any to perish, but that all would come to repentance. And I've given you the bad news that we're all guilty of breaking his law. The sentence is hell. And so one day you'll have an opportunity to shout that to a holy God. And the truth of the matter is, I want to bring a friend of mine up now that will share the good news with you. Steve, I've shared the bad news, but that's the bad news. Now here's the good news. The good news is this. Nobody needs to go to hell. In fact, Jesus Christ did something wonderful for you so you would not have to pay for all your sin. 2,000 years ago, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die on the cross for all your sins. He was buried for three days and rose again to give you the hope of eternal life. If you repent, turn away from your sin, and put your trust in Jesus Christ, God will forgive you and grant you everlasting life. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him will not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not God's will that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. And if you laugh, and if you ignore so great a message as this, that God demonstrates His love for us in this, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us, then you will end up in hell forever. I love you so much that it doesn't matter to me that you laugh or that you mock or that you try to tune me out. I'm giving you a fighting chance for heaven. Who else would do something like this? So here's the deal. Turn away from your sin today. If you've lied one time, stole one thing, ever misused God's name, God would see you as a liar and a thief and a blasphemer. On Judgment Day, you will be found guilty and end up in hell. So, think about what He said. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through Me. Thank you for your attention. Have a great day. Please, don't drink and drive. God bless you. Thank you. Now, was that so bad? Was that so bad? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Now, now, I want you to play. I want you to play a hymn. Play a hymn for these people. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. May we borrow it in a few hours when we leave? Yes. Okay, thank you. God bless you guys. Thank you. Very good. So how to go?